Friends, I will say, it can be really exciting to order a case knife from an online retailer and waiting for it to arrive, but it can also be somewhat like playing the lottery. You lay down your hard-earned cash and anxiously wait to see what delight is in store for you. And sometimes you get a winner. And sometimes, well, you don't get what you were hoping for. So my most recent order, I ordered from Shepherd Hills Cutlery. They do a good job with case knives, and I have not had a problem with any of the knives that I've gotten from them. So let's go ahead and pop open this package for my recent purchase. Try not to make a mess with all the popcorn here. Shouldn't be much more in here than just the knife and this receipt, but let's see what we got. No, nah, it looks like all of it's in there. So let's, let's get this popcorn back in there, get that out of the way. Take a look at what we got here. Because what I ordered from them is a small swell center jack, and it was on sale for $39. But by the time you add the shipping of six, the state tax of two seventy six, the county tax of forty six, it ended up coming to forty nine twenty one. So jacked it back up another ten bucks just getting it here. And the reason I ordered this knife is because of this one right here. This is my Deep Canyon Jig Hunter Greenbone Sodbuster Junior, and I'm just totally in love with this knife. And I went online searching for other patterns that was similar. And that's what I ordered. I actually ordered two knives. This one came in first. There'll be another movie for a bigger knife. But first, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it to any of your friends that might like similar content. It's what keeps the channel going. Thank you. So what we have here today is the Hunter Greenbone Deep Canyon Jig Small Swell Center Jack 6225 Stainless Steel. All right, 75837 is the number, and it's got a born on date of November 18, 2022. That's my birthday. Same birthday as me. How about that, huh? How freaking cool. Talk about lucky numbers, huh? We're going to win this lottery with this knife. All right, so let's check out this Hunter Greenbone Deep Canyon Jig. A small swell center jack. I've always wanted to look at one of these small swell center jacks. They look like an interesting knife. Um, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and check it out. All right, so let's check out the flyer, see if they got anything new. Nope, it's the same one, but you know what? It's a small swell center jack, and that's the knife we're looking at today. Just different color. There's warranty paper. Stick that back in here. All right, I am excited. All right. Paper's in really good shape, so... Oh, there she is. Would you look at that, huh? What a good looking little knife. Let's check out the centering. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Couldn't ask for better, could you? Look at that. Any gaps? No, I'm not seeing any gaps. Everything feels smooth. Yeah, no sharp edges. That's smooth. No transition there. These pins. I can barely feel that center one. There's your case. This one has no shield because of the deep jigging. And the other side looks good. Smooth there. Smooth there. Can't feel the pins. It's nice and even from side to side. Now this don't have the deep jigging all the way down, it just has it in the center, but look how proud those scales are, how wide they stick out, I like that. And like I said, it's got that deep jigging in the middle, 
it's just a beautiful color. Now I will say it doesn't seem to pop and stick out like the sod buster, but it's still beautiful. Let's check out the blades. Okay, there's our clip point. Alright, there's the tank stamp. Yeah, there's your case XX. See? Alright. I get that back here. Help you look at the blade. It's a nice handsome looking blade. It's got a nice down swept to it. You know. It's got a little up sweep at the swedge towards the tip. Nice. Check out that tip. We had a knife recently with a bad tip. It's a little rounded, but you know what? For a case knife, I'm not going to complain too much. It's, you know, I don't have a needle point, but I think it's all right. And here, how snappy it is. Oh, no grittiness to it at all. I mean, this thing is nice and smooth. Look at that. I haven't even lubed this yet. Nice. Real nice. Good job, Case. Alright, let's check out this other one. Okay, so there's the nail nick back there. Okay. Here's the tang on the little one. That's your USA. With your number on there and your stainless steel marking. Yeah, it's nice too. Nice and snappy. I like my case nice to be nice and snappy. And this one definitely is. All right, let's look at the first blade here. It looks like it's two and one sixteenths. Okay, of, of cutting edge is what I'm measuring. I'm not measuring all the way back to the the handle. And the cutting edge on the little spade or pin blade is an inch and a half and they both have a little choil right here see it here's the clip blade see it's got a small one you can barely see it but it definitely has a little choil there alright let's compare it to the sod buster in the same pattern alright it's got the same colors but it doesn't have as much as that blue as the sod buster and the sod buster is a bare head so you get the scale comes all the way. You don't have the nickel bolsters like the other knives. And I think that looks better. Uh, you get the jig in all the way down to the end. Um, you're not worrying about polishing scratches out of a, a bolster. So that's why I like the sod busters so much. They're just a great pattern. But this little swell jack is pretty sharp too. You know, you just don't get the jig in all the way up. But you, you know, you get more of a transition of the colors because they have to sand it in order to get that swell right there. But that swell really makes the knife nice. Pinch is really nice right here. Just really fits your hand for a small knife. And, uh, you know, you don't feel like you're going to drop it. It's just really shaped nice. Look at that. So I pinch it right here. So it swells right behind where I'd want to naturally pinch the knife. That's a really nice feature. This is a really nice little knife. I really like it. And I'm really glad I purchased it. Can't wait to use it a little bit. So let's compare it to my most recent purchase. And that's the little peanut here. Actually, second to last purchase. The Panama Trapper. But here's the peanut, which looks like it's just about a quarter inch, three sixteenths to a quarter inch less in handle. And I'd say probably about the same thing with the blade, about 3 sixteenths shorter. We'll measure that thing here in a minute. But, um, you know, one thing is the nail nick. I keep reaching right there for it, and I can't open the knife, but it's not there. It's back here. And once I remember where the nail nick is, it opens up nicely. And if you notice that the peanut's got a little bit more of a drop point than the spear point, of the swell jack and let's see if we can set them side by side and check out the width yeah that swell jack with that deep swell in those scales a lot wider 
All right, so let's compare it to some other knives. Here we have the Dragonfly 2 Lightweight. It's pretty much almost the same length. It's just the Spyderco has a lot deeper blade, deeper handle. It has that lock back and also the uh, carry clip. Right, let's grab something else. Oh, how about a ZT0452 carbon fiber with its four inch blade? That kind of dwarfs it, huh? More like a companion knife to that spear. Uh, what else we got in here? Let's see. Well, here's the sod buster next to it. That way you can see the size there. Sod buster is probably about an inch overall longer. All right. Probably got five sixteenths longer blade. Whip's going to be fairly close. And um, all right, but. Still slip joint only has one blade versus the two. Here's another sod buster. That's a permission orange. It's one of my favorites. All right, here is the PM2. I always got to break out the PM2 when we have a knife. All right, it's in every knife review I do. Is this PM2? But huge difference, huh? Different age, different style, different application. All right, PM2 is a Great work knife. The little swell jack is a nice little gentleman pocket knife. All right, here is the Benchmade Tagged Out, another one of my favorite knives. It's got about a 3.4 inch blade, and believe it or not, they weigh about the same at two ounces. And, uh, what else? Oh, this little PM3 Lightweight, pair of three lightweight. That's a small compact knife in a lot of people's eyes. It's still way bigger than that center jack swell. Here's the Dragonfly too, so you can see them on both sides of it. So this is still, you know, some people would call it a pin knife. But that's fine, you know, all knives have their uses. Especially when they're pretty like this one is, huh? So let's put those up. Get those back in here. Alright, how about the little Swiss Army Tinker. Let's see how that looks compared to it. Now, overall, closed. It's it's close. So well, the Tinker's got a lot longer blade there. Well, hold on. Actually, this one here's the Tinker. That other one, I don't know what the name of that one is. It's older than I am. I got it from my granddad. But this one here, this one. So that one's got serrated. That one's got a straight blade. Different emblem too. Can't even read it. Somebody might put in the comments if they know anything about this brand or knife. But uh, I'm thinking it's just a European branded Swiss Army. But anyway, this is a little tinger you can get off of Amazon for 25 bucks, And you can see how that compares. It's still a bigger knife. And that little tinker is pretty cool. And it's got this little thing that my subscriber Kevin sent me. Thank you once again, Kevin. I still got it on there. I think it's pretty cool. Let's put those up. All right, so what else are we going to talk about on this little guy? All right, haven't done a paper test. Haven't had much luck with case knives coming from the factory with a good edge. And I think this one's going to be about the same. Let's check out the clip point, see how it does. Cross your fingers, right? I don't know, you know one thing, it, it's hard to get the right angle with the camera and a very small knife. You know, that's playing a little bit against it. But it definitely could use a little work. But, um, I think my technique could use a little work as well. But um, we need to go ahead and get that thing sharpened up. So that'll be a project for another video. But um, you know what? I really dig this knife. It is a super nice handy little pin knife. I actually like it better than the peanut. Let's get this cleaned up. And I am going to have to make some room in my top shelf of my cabinet here so I can show this knife off. Alright, so 
Where are we going to put this bad boy? Let's see, there's the peanut. We can take these two sod busters and stand them up. I think it'll sit right. Yep, it'll sit right there. So I've got three of my favorite knives in one spot there. Now check out this one. I just did a video on this. This is the most recent one. This is the Panama Trapper, the extra large trapper with this lizard skin scales. All right, check that out. That is a big case knife, biggest case knife I have. Probably one of the biggest ones they make in a folder. That's pretty cool. All right, also, this is an old Craftsman. Check that out. I got to do a video on this knife. Anybody knows anything about that? Let me know in the comments, all right? Because I don't know much about it. There's my Cursaw Lucha. All right, I'm not an expert on the battle song, so don't laugh at me, okay? But it's too big to put further down, so it slips up top too. Anyway, just showing off some knives. I got some knives in there, just showing off. So, all right, so if you got some knives you want to show off, let's get them entered in the knife contest I just started where you send me four pictures of your knife and you can get a chance to win this Cold Steel SRK Compact, all right? I know it's not much, but that's what I can afford right now. So let's get this, this contest going. And this is the prize for the best viewer submitted knife photos, all right? And it's a cool little prize because I'm going to send it to you free of charge. I'm going to pay shipping. I'm going to pay for everything. And it's a brand new knife. All it's ever done was make a video. All right, so find this video in my playlist. All the instructions are in there on how to submit, okay? You submit four photos. I make a little video, and I, submit, I do all the work for you, all right? Once again, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.